Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate uh, Trilogy Let's Play featuring Throne of Ball. We're getting very, very close to the end. We still have a couple of ball spawns to go. Uh, but in the meantime, we got another challenge open. Every this time I decided to prepare for it beforehand, so let's see how it goes this guy's. Hello! Oh great, you're blurry. I am part of you if you're forgotten. I am peace of you that you have set aside. It was I that grew up in Candlekeep, unaware of my heritage, unaware of the base evil that lurked in my soul. I left my home long ago with bright eyes face world. I am your innocence. I need not be lost forever. You need not drive me from your heart. You struggle against the taint of our father who wrote to me, but I am not gone yet. You can still reclaim me. Reclaim my innocence. How do you propose to do that? This plane is an extension of yourself and mine. You have a need to address your dwindling innocence, and so you have brought me forth. What you decide here has power, though not all decisions are conscious ones. Were you to decide to restore me, it would be so. You would be an innocent anew, just the day you left Candlekeep so long ago. The horror of recent events would be forever behind you. What of all my good experiences, all the knowledge and power I had gained? Gone. They must be sacrificed that the clock may be turned back, so I may reclaim. Do you not understand? No, I don't. Why is my innocence so important? Do you wish to keep fighting the same endless battle against the nature that you were born with? Think for a moment how much you've changed since that fateful day on Candlekeep. You have killed many, bathed yourself in blood. And the darker portions of your soul have come forth, whether you've liked it or not. Do you not believe this will only continue? Let us return to a time when such trials did not have to be faced. Reclaim me. Cast off your tribulations, and let us both be born anew. As much as I might like to be innocent once again, I cannot sacrifice all I have gained. I am needed as I am. I see. So there is no room for innocence, the heart of an immortal. Since it was meant to be, with innocence dead, the path to which the immortal was with you lies one step closer. Face it, if you dare. Oh, it's the Slayer! <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, this, um, yeah, let me tell you no right now. Problem. There's a reason this, uh, yeah, he's, uh, here. Um, actually, whoops, I gave you the wrong weapon here. Um, what do you want? I forget, because I totally for did forget. Uh, no. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Leave me alone. Uh-uh. A good hit. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! I don't want to be innocent! Innocence is boring! Here, eat my new fire tooth. A good hit. Sh why? Oh, I swear to fucking god. Oh, I just love it when the AI just homes on one person. There we go. Ah, oh, man, that went better than the last time I played this. Who says Mary Moutine? Useful. Alright! <laughs> no okay, so with that taken care of, I'm gonna take. Oh, for the luck. <sighs> I got level drained. Alright. Well Let me fix that real quick. Okay. There we go! Hold on. Okay. And uh, here, might as well rest. One says, Doo -doo. Wow. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and go on ahead to. Uh, a Bosgall's Lair. I have nothing to get in uh, M. Catherine. However, I wanted to show off a few things. First off, the Greater Silver Sword, which I got upgraded thanks to Liquid Mercury. Now provides immunity to confusion and all psionic attacks. And 25% chance to gimp someone. Fuck yes. <laughs> I only wish it wasn't two-handed, but whatever. Um, What else did I get? Oh, yes. I did mention my new Fire Tooth, didn't I? Nah, give it. Anyway, the fire tooth plus five, plus five for the purpose of the enemy's hit, and plus seven to hit, plus fucking seven. That's amazing. <laughs> nice. So yeah, really good stuff there. And then I got one more thing. I got to use that sacred scroll, but I use it with dragon blood, and I got the weirdest spell I've ever seen in my life. Where it here? Here it's flame fortress. When this spell is cast, Wizard opens a portal to plane of fire in the sky, but the battlefield pulls down the vortex of intense flames and superheated air. The swarming mass fire touches down to earth and then moves about as predictably scorching any creatures in its path. The caster is immune to his own spell, but his companions are not, and must be wary. If a creature is caught in the path of the burning vortex, it takes 88 fire damage, increasing by one point of fire damage per level of the caster, up to a maximum of 88 plus 12. Creatures may make a saving throw per his breath to have the damage, but they must do so with a negative six penalty. <laughs> I'm at uh, level 32, so that's going to be a lot higher. <laughs> um, anyway, 
There is a 10% chance that the affected creature will instantly be incinerated to death with no saving throw. So, yeah. A maximum six creatures will be affected. Afterwards, a vortex will dissipate back to the fire plane. We need a fire means we need that spell. Yeah. Probably not the smartest spell to have, but it's an interesting one nonetheless. So, anyway. Yes, yes, Cespinar. Everybody loves you. Whatever. All right. I'll meet you guys at Abazigal's lair. All right. Here we are. Uh, you're gonna find out why I chose to save this place for last pretty quickly. Last time I played this place was just... I was about ready to tear my hair out. Who dare disturbs Draconis? More pestering emissaries from the cloistered monastery. Surely the last batch did not return. Balthazar would have learned his lesson. No, I see I am wrong. You are not brothers of the Tattooed One. I smell the taint of Baal on you. I am Wilkins Grove and I am here to destroy you. My father warned me of you. The wall spawned to kin would steal his own destiny and my birthright. Your father, you are Basigal's son? Is a mere elf are even worthy of having an immortal as it's flowing through their veins? My kind are the only creatures worth deserving of ball seeds. Okay, what are you talking about? You cannot stop this. The Lord of Murder shall rise again, and I shall prove myself worthy to Abazaga by bathing in your tainted blood. Okay, so everybody stop moving. Yep. This is going to get incredibly unpleasant. Has, I'm dead. just gonna say that right now. So we're gonna do what my dumbass should have done earlier and start prepping for. And another thing to note, this is basically the point in the game where I finally, in my last playthrough with my Elven Archer, I had made it all the way up to this place on core rules difficulty, and then I finally had to just give up and go back to normal. So, sorry if that happens. I'm not perfect. I'm certainly sure as fuck don't try to be. Lord of murder shall rise again. What's up? I shall Life later. Very well. You think I can be defeated so easily? More evidence of your species inferiority. Zeus and Boo stand ready. Stand back for justice! Ow! And that's how you slay a dragon. <laughs> Wow, I'd heard the tech. I'd heard the guide suggested that before, but I didn't actually think it would work. Last time I tried it, he'd already had his uh, minions. Also, I this is the fourth time I fucking tried this battle, so yeah, I decided to go back to fucking normal difficulty. Hope you don't mind the decrease in quality. Uh, I probably shouldn't be so harsh on myself. It's just you know. <clears throat> When you watch other Let's Players, like, pull off some of the craziest exp- Uh, I don't need these. Uh, Every craziest, most amazing stuff on the web. It's like, ugh. But, oh man, that's just... It's kind of funny, though. There is a hell of a gap between, uh, normal and core rules. I mean, in core rules, he was, like, casting every other spell in the book. And jump it down to normal, you like cast one spell and that's it. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Greater Weird Wyvern. My God. People will shape shift into anything anymore. Okay, for me, I did not. Now, to be fair, my, how much harder that battle was might have something to do with the fact that I only have five people on my team. I will say, the amount of leveling I do with five people is just, wow. It's crazy just how quick it is. They all earth elementals. There we go. All right. Easy enough. All right. All the doors are locked. Let's see what's here. An empty breath potion flask? Huh. Interesting. Here we go. That one said it was short in the guide, so... Oh, goody. So Salamanders. Frost Salamanders, too. Oh my god, are you serious? How did he take so much damage? Now. Now. Uh huh. At your order. Hey. Glory will be ours today. What is it now? Righteousness shall prevail. What do you want? Glory will be ours today. Every. Stop. Stop. Battle bow, run bow, run. Okay, so here's a creepily nice looking house. So go forth at your see command. Right here. Point the just turn you dead and what? You asked for it. I okay, I ask you to turn already. not oh, for crying out loud. Okay. You point Meg. Okay, here we go. There we go. I huh, interesting. I don't know what kind of water that is. Oh, hell no. Let's see. No, that's where I come back. Okay. <clears throat> nice. According to the guide I'm reading, this one is listed in alphabetical order, so... I already don't like the look of this place. But kicking for goodness. Okay, just stop. Ah, quotas. Ah, of course Just dive in a room now. You don't know what any of them are mages after all. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. What are you Jump doing? Just sword sword while you can, I won't be as gentle. Dude, as stop. Glory. At your order. Orders. See here. Yeah. I'm fine on their way. Who says? What? what Will you seriously stop? There we go. What do you want? The whip. Priest? The best leaders also <laughs> that didn't work. Try again. Uh huh. Point us Stop chasing up here. Go point this way. There. Oh, here. Never mind. You point. Comes one. I point. So, what are cool tones anyway? Are they frogs? Really not sure, actually. Huh. Swords, not words. Live Didn't by the sword. About, I guess. Live a good long <laughs> time. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh great! Water elementals, well and they look like Mint snakes. And stand amongst Ow. the righteous. Very well. Yeah. I think they take bonus damage from lightning. Okay. No. They don't. Nothing else there. Vulnerable to it. 
Oh shit. No, 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 no. Uh, Guys, uh, wait. Just use the choke points. Armor, stand back for What's justice. up? If you say so. Here. See battle bow. Run, bow, run. Such a good. Orders. So be it. I am oh, to I punch. Again. All right. Yeah. Well, one thing about it, I didn't even realize this could be used on stun allies until, well, today. Or whenever the hell I'm playing it. There you go. Ah, more. Whoever knew water could be such a bad thing. What do you want? As well as for uh-huh. I'm still here. Don't know who you're going after, but Whoosh. Hey. So be it. I am your two. What's up? Yeah, the game I don't know if the game has any any point blank shot penalties, but doesn't seem to act like there is. And honestly, with how good my archer is at well archering, I doubt the uh, any penalties would make him that much of a difference anyway. Awesome. Good. Oh yeah, doesn't this room look familiar? They basically built it off that one uh, cool tone place in the uh, underdark. You can tell because the uh, room looks almost exactly the same. Yeah. Here. Go after that one. Uh, we are all heroes. You oh, hello. An old Hydra. Sounds more like and your name sounds more like a water joke than anything else, considering you, you only want? have one head. Don't melee it. I don't want to deal with that fire shield. Uh huh. There you go. Next time. Nice. Awesome. Armor, wow. Jump on my Good experience. While you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Okay. Catch it good. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. At Who your says, order. Live yeah. by the sword. Live a good Here it comes. Viewpoint. I oh, punch. hell. Hey. All right. Sword, stand back for justice. Speed bottleneck. There you go. Mince and boots and go for the eyes. Go for the sea battle boat. You shall <laughs> run, my boy. Run. Where are you going? What's up? Huh. Oh. What do you think? No, it's. Oh, it's a monk. Okay, and we leveled up again. Oh my god, seriously, this is freaking awesome. I, I could just do this all day. I love it. Uh, well, I guess we'll just do alchemy as well. Why not? I hope that, you know, I can put more than multiple points into that. Okay. Uh, oh, it's locked. Do you have the key? Does anybody have this the key? Place seems fun. Or do I open it myself? Time to move. All right, all right. There we go. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Order. Yep. Ding dong. Mm -hmm. Don't touch me with your scaly claws. Cough. No more torture, I beg you. Where are you and what are you doing here? You, you have no scales. You're no fish man. Please, you must listen to me. Abagazal must be stopped. That's why I'm here. I, I can help you. Help you to defeat Abagazal. I know the secrets of this place. I feared my knowledge would die with me, but now I can pass it on to you. The tunnels. <coughs> the tunnels are the key. Abagazal's caverns are connected by underground tunnels. You have to explore them to find your way through the space caves. I already know about the tunnels. It's how I got here. Some of the tunnels are long and dark. It's easy to get lost with their never vast expanse. If you had a rope, you could tether it in place and use it to guide you through the darkness. Please tell me you have some rope. <laughs> I had this rope within the hem of my robes in case you chance to escape this place or game. Take it. We'll guide you through the longest tunnels. Anything else you need to tell me? Uh, something else. Something you must do before you can base Bagasol. The entrance to Bagasol is under steam and is protected by a dragon. Uh. Worry not. I'm quite used to killing dragons by now. 
The dragon does not serve upon us all willingly. She is under a gias which compels her to de defend the entrance to his inner sanctum. Yet, even should you defeat her, the spell which seals Ampagazol's gates will not be broken. When Balthazar sent me here on my mission, I brought a powerful scroll of reversal to break the gias and open the entrance. The scroll is taken from me, but it cannot be destroyed. I expect it's still in the position of Balthazar's minions. You must find that scroll to break the gias and gain access to Balthazar himself. Is there anything else you need to tell me? Since you find your way into this chamber, you must already have discovered that certain pools within this complex create contain liquid which will allow your lungs to breathe water for a short time. You must have already found something to get this far. Don't lose it. I still wanted to know why Balthazar sitting here alone in the first place. That you shall not know. Cough. My mission dies with me. Cough. Hack. I now accept that I shall never leave this place alive. My injuries are too severe. My torture body devolves so that even healing magics can no longer save me. I resisted death soothing embrace of the Balthazar. But now you will kill Balthazar and I am freed from my obligations in this world. I wonder, was that monk he captured spy, or was he here for some other reason? I guess we'll never know. A death alpha can't be undone. No, it cannot. Okay, kicking for goodness. Let's see what we got here. Hendo's hand. Ew, gross. Okay. Uh, here. Here, need a hand. <laughs> okay. And here's a breath potion. That's what it looks like when it's full. Cool. You point. All right. I punch. I will go to the next area then. And looky there, we opened the door. Alright, which one now? I pick this one. Okay. More monsters. What are these? The vigilants. Minsk and Boo oh, a, stand okay. For most annoying enemy the entire game fun. goes to. <clears throat> oh, hello. I see now. Eosinth the Mad. You there. Intruder type. Why you pester Lord Abagas the Gauls most of your turns? My travels are no concern of yours. Well, I am. E I, I. Whatever the hell. The Enlightened. <laughs> okay. Most favorite wizard of Lord Abagas the Gauls. Ruler of Toril. These lovely creatures are my latest experiments, most trusted friends. Your closest friends are eyeballs? Note, young man, the lack of mouths or other words spewing orbs on the orbs. You do well to evolve so finely. <laughs> See, I wonder why. Now, what do you want? Seek a scroll reversal. Do you know of one? An Anunatheri can tell us about ye wide and served with leaks? Uh, no, a scroll of reversal. Spawn remove a geas? Oh, yes, I suppose I might have one, falling about my underwear drawer like a weasel. And. Twisting them into most frightful loads. You get the picture. Frightful knots, sorry. Yes, can I have a scroll? I don't know how they do these things where you come from, but you're here in a pot of enclave. We work for a scroll's reversal. We want me to do. To be honest, I really can't leave the experience. They're quite fragile. Plus, they smell nice. Like cheese. I admit, I'm no cheese expert, but have you token a good whiff of your pets recently? I don't know anyone who would put something with the stench of this place in their mouth. Why do I continually find myself subjected to these inane conversations? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about this guy. Oh, man. <sighs> you know, I'll tell you what. All I've been doing lately, I'm in need of a good laugh. Wow, that was awesome. 
Several days ago, I got a, got a goth beholder lurking around my eyes. He seemed to have a bit of a crush on one of them. Garden sealed on the eyes. And say I took a dagger and tried to harvest an eye from my experience. A little bastard dived into one of the pools just east of here and disappeared. I knew that I saw. Unfortunately, the cavern he dove into became infested with kobolds. My heroes like Minsk and Will couldn't grow and prove themselves against such unworthy opponents. Maybe Boost should tackle them alone. Minsk is choking, of course. Let the kobold butt kicking begin. Or perhaps there was elder orbs in that cave. Oh, great. Give me the eye stalk and you can have his girl. Uh, this isn't really worth my time, but I guess I'll do it. Well, excuse me. If you're too precious for the job, why don't you just subcontract? Ooh. These men here, they seem to be in quest an adventure earlier. They appear to be ranked amateur. Yes, I suppose they do. You seem resourceful. Find a way to help them and I'm sure they'll take the quest. Come to my lab when you have the eye stalk. Come to bullshit get in. How many people are here? And of course they all poured away. How many scrolls have I found? I don't think I have that many. Uh, well, there you go. There's a reason they had those. Oh my god, I feel so stupid not taking them. There's one. Great. Okay, well... Suppose it wouldn't hurt to try and find the others. <coughs> oh my. Orders. Okay, so <coughs> I was about to go look for some more scrolls when I suddenly realized that one of my characters probably had a stone to flesh spell. Yeah. And happily to note, I do. Right here. So we'll go ahead and use this. Die, curse! I won't. What? Uh, do I know you? I freed you from your stone prison, young adventurer. Oh, thank you. Guys, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no thanks to you. Can you back seven eyeball? <laughs> Shut up, Sam! Greetings, my, uh, lord. I am Bandari Quickhand, a thief. These are my companions. Nanok the Barbarian and Tim Goldenhand. He's an elf and a mage. <laughs> I feel like they're making a joke here. Uh, I guess I should thank you for saving us. Is there some way you brave adventurers can repay your kindness? Something we can do to fulfill our debt of gratitude? Anything, anything at all? You could tell me how you come to be here. Uh, I am Vandari Hoffman. I left my peaceful village to Dale seeking adventure and fortune. I met Tim and Nanak in the tavern, and we formed a party to explore the Underdark. Well, we found a cave. Then we found some eyes. Then he turned us to stone. You have been chosen, Vandari. You must not fail in your quest. A quest? Wow, that's great. What do we have to do? A fiendish beholder and his kobold cohorts have invested a cave to the east of here. An evil dragon threatens the land. Uh, I must have the beholder's eyes to save the dragon and save the country from certain doom. My mask is mask. I can't let this happen. Go no more, but you reach my shocks. <laughs> oh my god. I shall give you a hundred gold. hundred gold? We're rich. You have a deal, sir. We shall fit the size into the world. Come on, guys. Wait, I have to rest and memorize magic missile. <laughs> just, just go. Oh my god, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, I fucking love it. It's like, holy shit, man. Several days later. I'm telling you, we can take him. Nanak, you are unfettered by the weakness of the civilized world. Tim, you can cast magic missile. I'll backstab, but he has all kinds of great treasure. But Tim is terrible. Remember the Kobold King? He cast one spell and then hid behind a rock while we had to stay out. So I just slay everyone. <laughs> hey, I have the healing potions. I heal you. I can strike off a blow that would fall a normal man. Unfair by your civilized way. I. Enough! Ready! Attack! Ow! Okay. I had no choice in that one. Bandari reloads. Yeah, see that? Bandari reloads. <laughs> uh, here's your eye stalk, sir. Found something else, too. I hope you like it. Well done. Here's your reward. Yay. Uh, and bronze pantalets. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they gave you a bronze Hi. <laughs> I beg you for a while. So the unbitter by civilization. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, oh my god. That was hilarious. But yeah, the bronze pantalets, you have to use those with the silver and gold pantaloons to get a really funky-ass suit of armor. But of course, I don't have those, so the underwear stays in the bag of holding. Armored, sharpened, That's not creepy at all. Sword. Oh my live god, that was awesome. I have never time. in my life seen that happen before. That was amazing. Oh my god. That was just... That That time made my move. day. Good to go. Man. Great. Okay. I'll have to figure what? out where uh, the, nan the mad guy is, so I'll be right back. Cannibal. I won't okay, be so <clears throat> had to uh, double check where the laboratory is. The stupid map map I'm using was not clear at all. I just said screw it. I'll jump on and watch a video. And as it turns out, it was right next to. Probably should have guessed that. Mince Didn't think to because these mages like to use spells to get out of the way. But anyway, all right, you weirdo. Here you go. Time. 
Ah, most excellent. And of course, there's the door that was. Here then is the scroll of reversal. Now you must excuse me. I have a new son to raise. I just. I'm gonna let that go. Yeah. Because Gregor and Mappa was right here, but of course, you know. Um. Okay, so here's the scroll of reversal. Now. I actually did wind up accidentally bouncing around them, as I did in the uh, cave right before a boss Every goes, so. Stand back. Okay, stand here back we are. <clears throat> One room away. <sighs> I think we just go over here, and here she is. Within the dragon's eyes, see a, a look of great suffering as if the beast were in foul of pain. It opens its jaws and speaks in strange and unnatural voice. You are the stench of the ball spawn. The same stench as a Bazigal, though he tries to hide it behind the more palatable scent of his wormkind heritage. Perhaps you have the power to break a Bazigal spell, ball spawn. You have the scroll of reversal. I feel its power. Free me from. My Why do I have to ask about a reward? I will give you oh, that's the board stone to pass. You can kill a bossing god. Very well, it's for you. The gate's broken, the dragon's at glaze eyes clear. Its magical voice rings out through the counter. Sure and strong. The enchantment is broken. I am free from this accursed servitude to that bastard. You promised to give me the warts on the past to gates, remember? You are a fool, puny one, to bargain with a dragon. We care little for promises made to the likes of you. But you are in luck, tiny man. A Bozigal must pay for what he did to me. But I am not eager to allow myself to fall victim to his snares once more. Therefore, I will honor our Gladly. And I leveled up yet again. Oh my god. I love it. Let's see here. Trust me when I say those traps will be useful. For the... Oh, uh, let's see. What's this? Oh, hell. Oh, that's nice. That's a really good one, actually. Uh, you know what? Maybe I don't need that human influences ring anymore. I got like what? Charisma twenty charisma already? Tell you what, I'll switch it out when and out when I uh go shopping. Can I please fucking save my game? Thank you. Okay. Alright, well use the usual buff up. Before the battle, see how this goes. The only thing I know for sure is that Bazigal is a hell of a lot harder than Draconis is. Even with the difficulty drop. Okay, well, see how this goes. Oh, great. Salamanders. Here, we'll let them come to me. What's up? Orders? Or, what the hell? Why'd you switch yeah, your axe, you sure. dummy? Yeah. No, I'll show you a good hit. Nice. Ah. <clears throat> Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. There he is. What do you want? You Welcome. Asked for it. I have watched your progress with great interest. For a lesser creature, you are quite amusing. Jim Cummings got a lot of work in this game. Lesser creature. Maybe I'll change your tunes after. Let's see. Wild well, boss spawn, it will show up your team from the earth. Save your dogs. You are not worthy of having balls blood within you. Only a dragon is worthy of containing the Lord of Murders and mortal essence. For a dragon, from what I hear, you're nothing more than a mongrel half breed. Those insolent words shall be your last. That's cute. Alright. Hey. Your command. Hey, 
stand back. What's up? For justice. Uh -huh. Every hamster seems to be Grand flames of my existence snuffed out by this pathetic fool. But know this. Your victory is flawed. Why does everybody keep saying that? Know this even as I die, fool. You have been used and misled. Witness the truth to which you have been so blind. And again, that's how you kill a dragon. <clears throat> I'm just going to do that from here on out. I'm not even kidding you. So, Melisan, you have returned to my monastery. I have, Balthazar. I have need of your... Enough. I know what happened at the center of Deuce. I know about the ball spawn. It is unfortunate, but I can explain, my old friend. No, you forced me to tip the hand now. It is time for you to die. What? What are you doing? You are no child of ball, Melisan. Your partner is in here. I shall see that. My brother, take her. Zounds! She's in trouble! But before we can rescue her, another history lesson. I greet you once again, Godchild. You near the final stage of your destiny. All will become most complicated very soon. No more complicated than it's ever been. We shall see. You have fought against brother and sister in recent days. Fought and prevailed as they arrayed their forces against you. You have done well. The most powerful children of Baal gathered themselves together years ago. You know them as the Five. Together, they hoped their power would destroy all others of their kind. But what you do not know is why. What purpose your siblings have for their actions. You may suspect, but hear the truth from the lips of one who had murdered. Why? Why am I cold? Why is Yagashura disturbed? You shall explain the truth of your actions, spirit, to the one that killed him. <clears throat> if I was killed by that one, then I don't owe nobody nothing. You shall answer our questions of the five. The five, huh? <clears throat> Yagashura owes them all right. Sure, uh, I speak. I was approached when I was still at the temple, still being taught the powers of Ball by the old witch. The greatest of all the Ball spawn were joining forces, I was told. We will defeat all others before us. Yaga sure didn't trust the others. Figured sooner or later the Ball spawn would turn on each other. Figured I was stronger than the rest of them, maybe, but not all of them together. So I joined. Raised an army of men and slaughtered all the ball spawn we could, waiting for enough of the essence to collect in the abyss. For Ball, the dead god, and your father to be resurrected as he had planned before his death. And we would be his right hands, all five of us. That's what we were promised. We would live as demigods, ruling Faerun with our power. <laughs> It was worth taking a chance for, Yagashura thinks. So the Five sought to resurrect your father and become demigods. What does this mean to you, Godchild? Very little. Isn't that what all these ball spawn want? So for now, anyway. <laughs> you are a fool to think the Five are defeated now. Of all of Ball's children, who do you think possessed the most of his essence? You, certainly. But we Five as well. How many of the five have you killed? Myself, Ilacera, probably Abazigal, and Sendai too. That is a lot of Ball's essence, and still one Ball spawn remaining. Balthazar. Yes, Balthazar. If anything, fool, you have stirred Ball in his slumber. He is closer now to awakening than ever before. The last of the five yet remains, Godchild. And your father stirs. What will you do? <laughs> I'll just have to stop Balthazar and Ball too if it comes to that. Then continue on your path, Godchild. I shall see you soon enough. Another challenge. And look at all those faces down there. <laughs> I wonder what that could mean. Alright, well. 
Four down, one to go. And while we're going back from dragon to human, it really doesn't get much easier. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. Until then, that's the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. And until then, take care of yourselves and farewell.